guys, welcome back to Urban Rhino Tutorials. Um, today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a paint stir stick piece of art for the wall. Um, so to do this, there are several different supplies that you need. Um, so I have this, it's a you know already finished wood panel and then I purchased some um, unfinished paint sticks. I, I'll include a link to where you can buy these. And then I have several different colors of wood stain. I also have um, a cloth and some rubber gloves so I can put those on to protect my hands so they don't get all gross. And then just some um, like scrap paper. So the idea is what we're gonna do is um, we are going to stain several of these stir sticks. And I have four different colors that I'm gonna use. And then we will cut them down to different sizes and I'm going to glue them onto this panel um, kind of like you would wood flooring. So at various, you know, positions. So I'll cut them, you know, different lengths and we'll secure them where we want them. I have a little um, bench top saw that we'll use and I will also include the link to that. It has come in handy um, a lot, especially in my classroom. My students use it for different projects. So um, so to begin, the first thing we wanna do is go through and stain all of our pieces. We actually do this before um, cutting them because one, I feel like the saw gives a really clean cut and two, if I tried to um, cut them and then stain them, I could end up, you know, realizing I need a, another piece or whatever. It's just much easier to do it this way, I've found. So I'm going to kind of spread these out a little bit, put on some rubber gloves, and um, the stain that I'm using are just, like I said, four different um, colors. There's a walnut, more of a gray one, an ebony, and rustic beige. So hopefully those have enough variety to them. There is a side on these that have a ruler. So I'm gonna be um, staining the other side. I'm not concerned about covering both sides. This part here where it's almost like the, the handle part, um, I won't be using. So I still can, I'm still gonna just stain the whole thing because I may end up utilizing this end part. But So all I'm gonna do to begin is go through and stain these. I'm just gonna get started showing you how I do that. Um, and then I will finish staining them off camera. You don't need to watch me stain 400 million pieces. It's like my first time putting on a rubber glove. Good Lord. Okay, <clears throat> so let me get my cloth I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna open up the first stain here. Just gonna go around. And um, another, I've seen this done before with paint as well, and it looks really cool. Uh, so like if you had, let's say you wanted to put this in your child's room. So for instance, my daughter's room is gonna be, you know, like pink, uh, like a blush pink and kind of um, a deep purple and things like that. So I could go through and stain them and then you can kind of sand them so they look more rustic. That would be really pretty as well. So all I'm gonna do is dip my um, cloth into this and we're just gonna go back and forth. I'm gonna get the edge and I wasn't paying attention and I just sanded it or just stained the side that had the ruler on it. <laughs> I'll have to look closely at these because it kind of, you can see now how much more it shows up. Um, and obviously the more um, you put on, the more layers, the longer you keep it on before, you know, kind of wiping off the excess, the darker the, the stain is gonna show up. So I'm gonna go through stain um, all of these. I'm probably gonna do about 20. So I'll probably do five or six of each color. And then when I come back, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna cut them down. So as you can see, all of my um, stir sticks are stained. Um, I have several different kind of just natural colors here. And what I'm gonna do is go through and start cutting them. I'm going to cut um, 
basically several different sizes. I will kind of then piece them in. Um, so like I've already cut this one, I'll just lay it in and then I'll kind of piece them in where I want and then I'll go back and cut some that um, to fill in any gaps that I have. So let me show you how um, to use this. So I have this little drill master, two inch bench top cut off saw. And um, if you can see here, it has um, a little itty bitty saw right here. And it has this adjustable part here. Um, unfortunately, it's it doesn't quite pull out all enough in order to fit the stir stick laying on its side. Um, so you have to, or laying flat, so you have to turn it on its side. Um, so instead, I'm gonna have the stir stick in here like this instead of laying flat. So I am going to cut one of these and I'll have to do it two ways. And on this particular one, you turn it on, you push the button, you go down, turn it over, go the other way. It's pretty simple. And I'm just gonna cut basically anywhere for this particular um, one. I'm gonna cut off, actually I'm gonna cut off the, the curved parts here. So I'm gonna go right below that and then um, just somewhere within here. So it'll give me two pieces. So let me turn it on, it's gonna be a little noisy. So I have my pieces cut. I'm gonna go through and do this um, for all of my sections and try to lay them out the best I can. Um, I am not overly concerned with the lines being perfectly straight. In fact, I, um, I may even go back at the end and kind of sand them a little bit. I want this to look kind of rustic. Um, so I will go through, cut them all, and um, when I return, I'm gonna show you how you would cut, like measure and cut for a small spot. So for instance, on this row right here, if I needed to fit one right in here, I need a specific size. So let me show you um, how you would do that. So I will be back in just a few. So you can see now I have all of my pieces cut except for one. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you how to cut a piece to fit it in there. Very simple, um, and some of these are kind of popped out. I haven't glued them into place yet. So when you are ready to, I'm trying to find my pen, there it is. Uh, when you're ready to fill in like the ends, so for instance, if I was doing this row here and I had a piece to go, you know, at the end, let's say it was this one, I would need to cut that off, obviously, so it fits, um, just like the one I have right here. So instead of trying to eyeball it or measure it like this, if you lay it beside, right beside the section that you're gonna put it in, you should be able to draw a line straight out from that corner so that you know where to cut. So I know that now that I need to cut that off right there. Um, so again, I'll go to my little saw. And I will say, if you have like a, um, a table saw or something like that, it's obviously it's gonna go much quicker to use that. I am only using this for the sake of um, those of you who don't have access to something like that at home. So we are again gonna turn on the saw. With this particular one, I'm actually using my pliers to hold it to be safe so I don't cut my fingers off. And 
and now it is cut. So the next step, move this out of the way. The last step is gluing everything into place. And this is um, really quite simple to glue this stuff. I think you could use um, several different things. You could use hot glue if you're in a hurry, you know, and you're impatient and don't wanna wait. I'm just using Elmer's glue. It works just fine for this. You could use wood glue, but all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on one side. I'm gonna lift up this row. So I'm gonna take this row out here. I'm gonna put some glue just like this, very simple. And I'm gonna put my pieces back in place. <laughs> Can't get easier than that, right? As I put my pieces in place, I'm gonna take out the next row so I can make sure that everything is pressed into place, just like that. So um, again, I'm gonna repeat this, go through, glue each strip down, and then that is it. Um, so uh, when I return, I will show you what the finished product looks like. So this is what the finished product looks like. All of my pieces are glued down. I let them sit overnight so they are dry and it is ready to display whether I wanna put it on a shelf or hang it up on a wall. So very simple project, a little time consuming, but it could definitely be changed up depending on the stain colors that you choose or if you wanted to do some paint colors that would work well as, as well. Uh, so I will include links in the description below where you can purchase these supplies. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.